welcome back to my channel and in today's video I am going to be giving you tips and tricks of how to train your horse quicker in horse valley. I'd like to start off by saying that there is no real way of I guess training your horse quicker but I'm just going to give you some ideas and ways of maybe doing it quicker in a way that will help your horse more if that makes any sense at all. So this isn't really a trick of how to train your horse quicker but this is one of the tasks that you had to do to be able to have your horse trained for you I guess. So you can have two horses to be able to be trained at once and say if I wanted to have I don't know my Clydesdale um, trained for there is loads of options up to four hours which obviously the longer you have it trained for it will be more expensive but say if i just wanted it tr to be trained for 15 minutes it will say what levels it will get your horse onto i suppose so in strength it will level it up um by five levels in swiftness obviously it is going up from level two so it will go up by um up to six levels and then agility and discipline also five levels so if you want to know how to be able to like um get rachel to train your horse for you i have a video on how to do that task on my channel and quite often what i do when i get rachel to train one or two of my horses for me is while she's training those horses i will then train another horse so then you literally have like two to three horses being trained at a time if you have that many the next thing i always do before i begin leveling and training my horse is I always do the energy task. So that will just mean that your horse won't run out of energy while you're training. So you won't have to stop and obviously go to do its energy. By doing the energy task, which you can see how much your horse's energy is up by right down there. Um, it just means that you will save so much time um like without having to come all the way back to the stables obviously to do your horse's energy then what i do with quite a lot of my horses is i often level them up to level 10 on each discipline as that just sets you in a great place to be able to role play with your horse but also at the same time not be too slow not be able to jump high enough and as even though you're not on max levels um you're still able to do all the different things you want however i didn't do that method that i normally do with cookie as i'm not really in a race to train her i'm just going to tell you in case you don't know but skip this part if you do already know what each of the different disciplines are and what they do for your horse so the first thing i'm going to look at is swiftness and swiftness um which is on the light bulb at the bottom of your screen is barrels which is what i'm in front of right here barrel racing helps with the speed of your horse so obviously the more levels you do on barrels the quicker your horse will be the next thing i'm going to look at is agility agility is this pole bending arena right here and pole bending helps with your horse's turning and uh, so obviously the more you do pole bending as well um the easier your horse will be to turn which helps a lot with jumping the next thing is strength and as i just said that is jumping so again the higher your level um on that discipline the higher you can jump the last discipline that there is is discipline so that is this little circle arena right here and i am actually not too sure what this trains your horse on um i thought that it was your horse's turning but obviously agility is that 
but if you do know that please put in the comments as i would love to know what i always do with swiftness even when i'm on a high or low level um is i will always canter up to the barrels and then when i get quite close to them i will trot obviously i do have quite a good turn on cookie but when i'm on a lower level i will turn um like sooner as obviously in agility when you're on a lower level um your turns won't be as good so i sometimes even go and walk around the barrels just so i don't miss star so i don't have to go back to it obviously cookie is on max so i don't really have any stars to follow but i hope that makes sense by the way that i'm trotting round the barrels and this will obviously again just mean that you don't have to keep going back round to the stars that you've missed as for jumping again i'm not on a very low level on jumping i'm pretty sure i'm on like level 10 or something but i will always start with the singular pole jumps which are the well i'm going around to it now and that is the smallest jump so it will just mean that you can get over it easier and then the two pole jumps are the second highest and then the three pole jumps are the highest jumps you can get but you won't be able to go straight over the three pole jumps straight away until you have leveled up on the strength task and I did forget to address this at the start of the video, but if you didn't already know, obviously the stars in each of the tasks that you have to get to gain your XP, the, a yellow star um, represents 2 XP, I'm pretty sure, on every single one of the different disciplines that are available. And the blue stars, which will come up in a bit um, once I've jumped more jumps, but they represent, I think, 4 XP on most of the different disciplines. However, on jumping, like I'm on right now, they will give you 8 XP for doing it. And I can already see a blue one right over here. So I will go over this one right now. And I'm not too sure why the blue stars on jumping give you more than they do on other disciplines but i'll show you right now like how much you get so yeah obviously it is a xp and i'm not too sure why it's any different to the other disciplines but i just feel like it is a little bit harder of a discipline than all the other ones jumping is but that is it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'm sorry if this wasn't the most helpful video in the world. But I did have a lot of comments requesting for this video. But I just didn't really have many tips and tricks on how to train your horses faster on Horse Valley. As there isn't really many ways you can do that. But again, thank you guys so much for watching. Please make sure to like, comment and subscribe. Bye.